Oh, we can talk about that <laughs> woman again. <laughs> Batwoman, we got a new Batwoman, ladies and gents. CW has revealed their Batwoman replacement for Ruby Rose. Um, they're, they're, this is like, oh, this is so funny. Um, so I saw this last night. I was tagged in it, but I, I, I just, I fell asleep. Sorry, it's just life. Apologies. Um, I'm getting very little sleep now because I'm making a movie. If you didn't know, uh, link to that down below in the description box. But basically, we CW has now got. A new Batwoman. If you didn't know, Ruby Rose was out of season at the end of season when she was out, and there was <clears throat> rumors that she was going to be replaced as Batwoman, so as the Kate Kane character that she plays. Um, and then it was confirmed that it wasn't going to be uh, Kate Kane. They were just going to make a brand new character, start from scratch again. It was going to be, I think it was going to be Ryan. I think uh, who the the synopsis for that was super dumb anyway. But we've got the casting for it. So let's take a look, okay? So the CW has revealed their Batwoman replacement for Ruby Rose in Jafisha? Jafisha. I don't know how to say that name, so I do apologize. Leslie. Variety reports that Leslie will play the character named Ryan Wilder. Brand new character. And and here... <laughs> I love the fact that this is, this is the description of this new character. She's likable, messy... A little goofy and untamed. She's also this is this is the official this is what CW have said. She's also nothing like Kate Kane. The woman who wore the bat suit before her. <laughs> what well, wait way to way to admit fault, you know? Wilder's backstory includes being a drug runner who made a habit of avoiding the GCPD. She also masked her pain with bad habits. Uh, while she previously was a drug runner, she now lives in a van with her plant by the river. Insert memes. Variety adds, a girl who would steal milk for an alley cat and would also kill you with her bare hands. Uh, Ryan is the most dangerous type of fighter. Here we go, ladies and gents. She's highly skilled and wildly undisciplined. <coughs> what? You can't be highly skilled and wildly undisciplined all at the same time. I don't know if you know that Variety and CW. That is something which does not make sense. Um, yeah. I, I don't know who this act, uh, actor, actress, I don't know what's politically correct anymore. Um, she's also an out lesbian, of course she is. She's athletic, raw, passionate, fallible, uh, and very much not your stereotypical all-American hero. Isn't it oddly coincidental that whoever dons the back cape is a lesbian. How? Um, now, Leslie issued a comment on taking the role, stating, I am extremely proud to be the first black actress to play the iconic role of Batwoman on television. And as a bisexual woman, I am honoured to join this groundbreaking show which has been such a trailblazer for the LGBTQ plus community. Now, look, if I was part of the LGBTQ plus community, I am not. But if I was, I'm not sure I would be happy uh, with the representation that Batwoman has been giving to that community. Um, one of the episodes, a terrorist was let off, an actual terrorist was let off because she said she did it because like, her parents found out she was gay. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Super dumb. Super lame. So a rumour from Entertainment Weekly back in June detailed that Kate Kane's replacement would be a woman named Ryan Wilder. And this... I, so I uploaded that video yesterday about the rumours of Star Wars. Granted, the sources were not, um, you know, are questionable. Um, and a lot of people were like, you just cover rumours now. Ladies and gents, rumours... Rumours often come true. Nine times out of ten, they come true. This is why I cover rumours, because it's good to cover bases. State that they're rumours. Right? Be honest that they're rumours. But they, they, nine times out of ten, they come true. They don't come from nowhere. Right? Now, that rumour also included a description for the character, which is pretty much spot on for what was officially revealed. Yes. 
Uh, EW's original description began, With no one in her life to keep her on track, Ryan spent years as a drug runner, dodging the GCPD and masking her pain with bad habits. Uh, today, reformed and sober, Ryan lives in a van with a plant. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Anyway, whatever. Um, yeah. A separate room from June from 4chan indicates that Wilder will steal Batwoman's suit before being confronted by Luke Fox, who traces the Batsuit to a parking lot where Wilder is the only person there. Um, and in this conversation with Fox, it's revealed that Wilder is seeking revenge against Jonathan Crane for killing her mother. In fact, the alleged leaker specifically indicates that she wants to kill Crane for killing her mother. Leslie previously played Ali Finer in God Friended Me and Paris Duncan in The Family Business. She had two guest appearances as Jesse Colton in MacGyver. Um, so, look, few... Look, few things to kind of like identify with respect to all of this so it's really important to note that i mean i mean it's like it's an absolute shit show right like it, of course it's an absolute shit show you've got um the cw basically saying by their own admissions right um that she is nothing like kate kane and i find it fascinating that anyone is going to be on board with this for like many many reasons like i'll make this video and people will go you just hate women no i don't what are you talking about Fucking love women. Um, the point is, is that from a narrative perspective, this is nonsense, isn't it? So the entire season one was all about Alice and the rivalry with her twin sister, Kate Kane, right? So Alice, played by Rachel Scarston, Kate Kane, played by Ruby Rose. They were supposed to be twin sisters. There was a rivalry there. And they set up all these story threads, which were redundant anyway, about Alice and Kate Kane. So that now... Uh, uh, that, that, <sighs> the only reason Alice exists is because it was Kate Kane that was going up against her, right? It's the same as Joker and Batman. Joker, going up against anyone else, would just get shot. But Batman uh, doesn't want to kill Joker because of reasons. It's like the ultimate arch rivalry between the two people, isn't it, right? Now, uh, this one... Ryan Wilder, played by uh, Javish, Jav Javisha Leslie, there is no there is no reason why she wouldn't just take Alice in immediately. Why she wouldn't just just you know bring Alice in immediately and done, completely done. So that doesn't make any sense. Like I'm sure we can all agree on that, right? Like that is going to be an an issue, and it also is an issue because we'd spent the entire first season finally. Like, get into grips with, like, this whole thing that was coming out about you know, Rogue Rose's Kate Kane's character and uh, Alice, uh, Rachel Scarson's character. So, to then just chuck it to the wayside, you're like, what? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Um, not only that, you're then introducing a character which is nothing like the character that people had just spent, what, nearly 20 episodes, I think? I Honestly, I can't remember anymore. Uh, nearly 20 episodes getting to know. And then expect them to want to watch it. Like I didn't like, I didn't like Batwoman in any way, shape, or form. I thought it was garbage. I thought they were overly uh, agenda-filled, overly political uh, in terms of their sort of socio-social uh, agendas that they were looking to push. But then to introduce a second, uh, a second character that's nothing like that one that you're then looking to get to know, like that's super dumb. That's super, super dumb. You're going to spend the second season basically being a first season, uh, and then there's rumours that they're going to cancel it after that one. So what's the point? What's the point? Tell me. Does anyone know? Does anyone know what the point is? I should probably move this because YouTube will probably demonetize it because, you know, reasons. Um, but what is the point? And, and what's... In universe, we knew that Batwoman was an out lesbian anyway. And then they're going to give another person the bat suit who's an out lesbian. You're really, really um, minimizing the pool that these uh, villains have to go through to find out who actually is the uh, human persona of Batwoman, aren't you? Like, that's dangerous business. That's really dangerous business. And I bet you they'll, they'll do another episode where, you know, Batwoman's revealed to be a lesbian and people go <gasps> shocked and awed and all this kind of stuff. But there you go. It's total nonsense. Um, how can anyone be proud of LGBTQ... Uh, representation of Batwoman. I thought it was terrible representation. Don't worry, mate. You're a terrorist. You get off. That's fine. 
All right then. Okay. That's fine. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this down below in the comment section. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. Stay up to date on the world of pop culture movie news by hitting the bell notification icon. Thank you so much. Take care. Thank you.